guys, what is up? It's Fire Falcon Gamer here. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called the AB like it's, uh, it's confusing. It's like the ABC Creature Tycoon series thing. I don't, I don't know. But today we're going to do A and I'm going to do this all the way until Z and then I'm going to end it. So the first the first animal that I'm we're going to talk about is our creature whatever. It's the alpaca and it's in the event al <laughs> al alpacalypse alpacalypse what, whatever you call it I don't know and basically you have to run around and there's different colored alpacas and you have to touch the right one you have to tap the right one and then you get it there then the alpacasaurus here, I'll actually show them. Alpaca and Alpacasaurus. So, the Alpacasaurus is you, when you fuse the alpaca and the Golem. I don't know how to say that. Golemimus, I think. I probably said it wrong. Yeah, I probably did. Um, so, this is the Gallimimus. Gallimimus, I think I said it right. This is the alpaca, and that's the alpacasaurus. So, I'm actually going to show you guys. I'm going to take um, Gall... Gall... Whatever it's called, and an alpaca. And I'm going to take them over here, and I'm going to fuse them. Boop. Okay, I probably need to go in like this. There. See? Alpacasaurus. Done. Speaking of dinos, there's a code you can use. It's right there. I just used it. it gives you 15 million coins. As you can see, I used to have 4 million, but now I have 19 million because 15. Yeah, you get it. It's math. Um. Next one is the Ankylosaurus. That was one of my favorite dinosaurs growing up. I was into dinos. Um, I'm actually going to show it. It's... Whenever you go to the Jurassic Park thing, the Jurassic Park zone, you get... There's different types of eggs. I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to get that. I'll do a tutorial on that someday. Um, it's eggs, basically, and you put the egg in your stable and you let it hatch. And this is what this is what the Ankylosaurus looks like. In in yeah, I said it right. Next is the ant, which I'm actually gonna go to Candyland. You all for this one, you need to go to Candyland, and you have to have the um, what pet is it? It's the um, beaver, because he has build. And right here. He has build. The, that's a skill, I guess. So I'm going to be at Candyland getting the ant. Here we are. So I just got to Candyland with my beaver, and I see a couple people struggling. How many people are on this server? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people are in the server and they're all struggling to get the ant. So I'm just gonna go and jump up there. How do you, how do you use these things? I, I wasn't in the Candyland zone for such a long time. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <sighs> so this person's stuck up here trying to get the ant. And I'm just gonna come over here and build. Oh, Kit Kats, look at that. Sponsor me, Kit Kat. I'm just gonna go. person's waiting for me, so I'm just gonna... Ooh. Parkour! Oh, that was a close one. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna... <laughs> that parkour. Where is the ant? I forgot where it was. It's on the top. You see it right there? That's the ant. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. Well, I'm... Not me, because I didn't do the parkour, but... That's the ant on top of the lollipop. 
And after you do the parkour with the beaver, that's pretty much it. You don't, there's no further steps, you just have to tap on it, and then you get it. So, um, I'm gonna reset, and see you back at spawn. The next one, I said I was gonna be back at spawn, but the next one is the gumballs. You have to keep on tapping all the gumballs until you find the armadillo. So I'm just gonna keep on tapping all the gumballs until I get an armadillo. Oh, <laughs> why do they have to have- Oh, dang it, they already found it! Well, you saw it right there, folks. Um, why did- <sighs> These people are just trying to get the armadillo. So you just keep on tapping around until you unlock something. It's better when you're in a private server. And yeah. So this person already got the armadillo. And I kind of don't want to do this anymore, but I'm going to do it. <sighs> Why? So just keep on tapping until you get an armadillo. You know what? Never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to leave. So that's basically it. Um, for the Candyland zone, at least. So, see you guys back at spawn. This time I'm actually telling the truth. Boom, back at spawn, okay. So, I'm gonna show you what the ant looks like, because I couldn't manage the parkour. That's a huge problem that I always have, is the parkour. I think I have it. Yeah, I have it. So, there's the ant here, and then I need a bear. Where is the bear? Oh, it's right here. So... For the next one, you have to fuse a bear and an ant. Oh, look. <laughs> um, and then there's an ant that I captured. He's in my hands. Even though you can never tell. Okay, so for the ant... Just put the ant in here, and you see the ant, right? Whoa, whoa, it's cool, right? Now the bear. There's the bear. And what do they form? An anteater. Dun, dun. Okay, now you take the anteater, and you're done. Wait, I, I, I need you. Hello? Okay. I got it. <laughs> the, the cages are always the same. They, they need to change that, like... Okay, there's the anteater. And a lot of ants and bears. The next one is in the Wild Savannah Zone, where you need a pet that has either run or super run. Because the antelope are faster than you. So I'm just going to get the cheetah, because it's the most formal fe pet. But you could use nightmare, something like that. There's a lot of pets with run and super run, so you need to go to the wild savanna zone. Wait, it is double jump, right? Yeah. I stopped using double jump and started using hover, but hover has much more slow fall, so... The wild savanna zone. Okay, woo. Yeah. Okay, now you just run around until you see an antelope. Just get the super run and you just keep on running until you see an antelope and then you just... <laughs> you just chase it down. And since you have super run, you're much faster than it. So you can just grab those antelope and put them in a box. Even though the box is so much smaller than how big they actually are. Logic. And then, um... The next one is the, 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 the Arctic Fox. So I'm going to go back home. The Arctic Fox, you'd have to have... That's where the Alpacasaurus or Alpaca comes in handy. Because you're immune to, like, getting frozen, I guess, in the polar ridge zone. Because you have it. So, yeah. As a pet, at least. 
he... <sighs> I cannot explain things today. Okay. Claim. Now let's go inside the first. And you need a fox, so I'm gonna put the fox in here and I'll show you what he looks like. Um, I missed it, didn't I? Fox, right there. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna wait for him to spawn. While we're waiting here at the alpaca alpacas when they're, I mean, antelope, when they're not running from you at least. I did not mean to do the alpacasaurus. So I'm gonna take you, fox, and I'm gonna use the alpacasaurus as a pet. So let's just go over here and use something with, what is it called? Cold resistance. And, <laughs> cold resistance. And the alpacasaurus has that. So since this one doesn't have super run, I'll be back whenever I'm at the polar ridge zone. Boom, here we are. Okay. So now you have to look for the igloo. And I'm just, I can. Oh. He helped me! I was about to fall into the water. I'm just gonna leave you there now, okay? Bye. Wait, don't these things, like, eat you or something? I remember those evil penguins in this one. So, um... Save me this time! Okay, never mind. He's not gonna save me. Because he's still stuck in the water over there. Skunk pet. Oh yeah, they are evil. I forgot. So let's just run over here to the igloo. Parkour. Yay. Let's try to dodge these penguins that I cannot see because they're not loading in. And I can see two hesitant penguins. I'm just gonna go over here. Jump over here. This guy died by a hesitant penguin. So I'm just gonna keep on jumping to avoid them. And then, there, you can see the igloo. Whoa, right? Yeah, it's epic. So you can go in here. And then... You just go in here because the alpacasaurus is so slow. No running or super run. I can't get inside of it. I forgot. Oh, yeah, that's how you, <laughs> you tap it. Okay, so is that like a grinder? I don't want to put my pet in a grinder. So I'm pretty sure you put it in the grinder and then you tap the red button. Tap the red button. Okay, tap it. Tap all the buttons. See what happens. Yeah, you see? Now all this blue stuff is coming. And your pet is getting frozen. He's getting hypothermia. So now when you get him out, he's going to adapt and be an arctic fox. Can you, like, let me... Is this... Okay, I guess I'll go back to spawn. Go back to spawn and I'll see if this is... The Arctic Fox. And we're back. I'm gonna look and see if this is an Arctic Fox, because you can't see the name on it. I think they have the same symbol, though. Just, there's no color. It's just white. So, yeah. There's, yeah. I'm gonna see if this is the Arctic Fox. Um, there. Yes, it's the Arctic Fox, but it's not loaded in. So I'm pretty sure you can take it out of the freezer when he gets hypothermia. And how you tell when he gets hypothermia is whenever... <laughs> oh my god! It's pink! It's pink! Why is it pink? Did they just like make it lighter or something? Yeah, I guess whenever it gets hypothermia you can take it out of the fridge or whatever. Now, for this one, I. Everyone was telling me to go to the magical stardust zone, and I finally saved up enough money to unlock the magical stardust zone. So now I'm gonna get the another A thing, which is the last on our list. The A. The. Ax axolotl? Axolotl, I think, and it's. Uh, I think I'm gonna get super run for this one. I'm gonna use the antelope and show you guys, like, how you use it. And you have to go to the magical starter zone, which is 60 million dollars. Cash. 60 million cash. 
So, since this one has super run, I'm just gonna go over here. And this is actually pretty cheap. I don't know if it's worth it though. It gives you a legendary, which it's, it's good. So where do I have to go again? Oh yeah, the magical starter zone. Lagging, lagging. It's always lagging when I go up here. Magical starter zone. Ugh. Okay. Now I'm teleporting to the magical starter zone. Magical. So when I first got here, I wanted that pet, the ax axial lotl, whatever it's called. And I was like, oh, these trees don't have any fruit on them. Well, they're... they're and I was just confused, but then I discovered a little bit more, and then I figured it out. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I'm pretty sure it doesn't move, so it's always gonna be in the same spot. I gotta show you guys again. Technical difficulties. So you go down here, and everything <laughs> glitches out, and you start to see the floor. You go like vertical. You see the name tag. You start going through it. It might not load, but you can click on it. Mine's loading. So you can click on it. It says, not enough magic. Meh. Go back with 13 magical fruits. Or come back with 13 magical fruits. And my antelope can't swim. So let's just go up here. And he's just waiting for me. Or she. <laughs> I don't know why I said he. And you uh, just go up here, and then I'm at the wrong part. I'm supposed to go to the spawn. So you go to spawn, and you're like, whoa, there is no magical star fruit thing. Okay, we're just going to ignore the fact that a giant frog just bounced by. And you're like, oh, a portal, whoa, you can't go through it, it's broken. But then you click on it. <laughs> then it takes you to this place. You're immortal. And I'm pretty sure on computer, but I'm, I'm on t tablet, so. So it will just pretty much make you, like, spiritual, whatever. And you try to click, on okay. Yeah, once you click on one fruit, all of the fruit and the whole tree disappear. So, I'll be back when I get 13 of these. Okay, two more. I'm so close to getting there. So, you can... It doesn't take long for th all the fruits to respawn. So, I'm clicking on it, but it doesn't work. Okay. Um, one more. So, as you can see, I'm pretty sure the fruit is going to respawn on that in a second. Okay, just waiting for it to respawn. Yeah, you see it, it respawned. And so, it's pretty easy but it gets kind of boring after a while I guess and it's not working okay so I got <laughs> black tomatoes <laughs> one two three wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen why do they look like that what the <laughs> why are black tomatoes glowing greenly oh there's a giant frog again hi giant frog Okay, so then you go back in here, and then you go, same thing again, you jump into the water, and you're like, oh, is my antelope gonna drown? No, because he can float. They, this is magical creature tycoon. So you see the name tag, you go up to the name tag, and then you click on it. Once you have the 13 fruit, you're like, and then he, um, you have to click on him a lot, I guess. Yeah, you see, and then he doesn't say anything. Cause he's like, oh, 13 fruit, yum. Then you, then doesn't say anything. So you just you get them, but you can never see them. Cause oh hey antelope, you can never see them because there's no cage differences. I would really like to, en I would enjoy that update if they made every animal. No, that'd be tough though. Make every animal its very own special cage design thing but that's how you get the ox a little and so I'm gonna go back to spawn go back home whatever and show you guys what it looks like when it's not underwater at least 
Okay, I found a water strider. You just click on it and get it. Yay! Never. Yay, I got a water strider. Woohoo! So they just spawn over there? I thought they skate on water. Why would they spawn on land? Okay. Well, uh, I'll get back whenever I go back to spawn. Okay, so we're about to end the tutorial. And let's look how much cash it gives. Yeah, that's what it looks like when it's not underwater. Right there. And how much does the griffin give? I think it does more than the griffin. So, instead of everybody using griffins, they're going to start using... A, so, the... Whatever they're called. Axolo. I can't say it. So there's the griffin. Oh my god, it does like two times the amount to that the ox thing does. Yeah, there's the griffin here. And pretty sure he does for 20 even though they're gone and I don't see the name tag um yeah anyway wait okay I'm gonna take the, uh, this griffin and do it again so I'm actually gonna see how much it does so I'm taking this one and the griffin does 420 and the other one does 30 more, so that's pretty good. Um, let, now I'm going to look at the Water Strider just because I unlocked it just now. So, um, Water Strider, how much do you do? Hey, get up. Uh. Oh my god. 547, I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I don't really know if that's right. Let me check over here. So, Griffin does 280. And if I go over here, the, um, the Uxlutil does 300, and the Water Strider, I clicked off of it. So the Uxlutil thing is still better, but the Water Strider, that does more than both of them, I think, pretty sure. Yeah, the Water Strider is better than both of them, so... That's good. Why did I, why is there a Velociraptor? Okay, that's basically it. Request any more videos or tutorials in the comments. I've been answering comments. Um, I'm gonna start posting more. So, see you guys.